As a child, Jill Michelle Melian's offbeat means of expressing herself <laughs> might have disturbed family members a lot less if they had known her odd sensibility would turn out to be her moneymaker. Next time you're leaving a theater and you know and you get off the elevator and just before the doors close, turn back around and punch someone in the face. Like, what are you gonna do? I had a really crazy grandma and she would always be mad at me and yelling at me. So I used to dry hump her leg. And it would make her laugh and be like, get off me! I think psychologically what that did was go, oh, so if I make people laugh, then they'll leave me alone. And so I dealt with any kind of pain or anything through comedy. When I was a little girl, I used to look at the television and tell my parents, how do you get to do that? And they looked at me like, no, 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 no. You get married, you have kids. Like, that was what I was supposed to do. It turns out that doing what she was supposed to do was never in the cards for Jill, which explains why she stood out and eventually turned to stand up. My lesbian friend just got a tattoo, a Chinese symbol tattoo. Anybody have those? Clap if you have Chinese symbols. Yeah! You have a Chinese symbol? I hope you're freaking Chinese. <laughs> I had this burning desire to perform, so I was like, I'm gonna do stand-up. I'm tired of seeing people that are Chinese that have Chinese, because how do you know what it really says? I'm serious, she, I bet you anything she got it right there. She's walking around like Kung Pao Chicken number nine. Like <laughs> I used to stand in line with the homeless people, and it was insane, but I stood out because I would just do characters, because I didn't know what to do. All the Asian people were laughing at us, like, oh, look at that. I throw in characters because what that did for me was it got me Mad TV. Having Mad TV, it was incredible because I did Drew Barrymore and, and Brittany, well, yeah, Brittany, Penelope Cruz, and tons of other characters, but I was always like in blonde wigs. You know, I was always playing these white girls, and that's fine, you know, I can do that. That's what I was more known for. Although Jill made a name for herself with her spot-on impersonations, it wasn't until her own identity came into question that she finally realized... Oh, I'm Latin. My mom is actually Irish background, and my dad is from Bolivia, so, you know, he's very South American and very traditional, And but do I find that when I'm playing a Latin role, it's more second nature? Yeah, absolutely. It's a little confusing, I think, to casting directors, but more and more now, all different types of Latinas are on TV. I think they're realizing that there's not just one type of Latin. Even though Jill has reawakened her Latina roots, the comedian has figured out that being untraditional, and shut your freaking mind and get back in the game, unpredictable, <laughs> and unapologetic, I got poked earlier, hey, <laughs> about her comedy or her life for that matter, is what she was always supposed to do. That's what I really, really cherish is that looking out at the audience and seeing laughter and hearing laughter and Having those, those pictures and autographs afterwards, it shows you that, okay, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do.